Alright everyone, so we got uh, some cool stuff to do. We have the final test of the tutorial, which I believe we just did. But there's other stuff that we can do. Freedom, form training, this is the final test. Alright, so the final test is right here before we can actually complete all of the beta content. So let's test it out, see how it goes. This is the one that we didn't do yet. Here's our challenges. Oh, there's actually a lot, damn. All right, what I think we should do first is just play it, just how it is, and then we'll try to do the challenges after. Let's do it. I'm really liking this game, I really am. I'm gonna upload my formal impressions, um, which I'm probably gonna do before I upload these videos. So, uh, hope the you guys watch that. The is based on an authentic 1979 mission, the high point of training Director Soda's career as an active agent. The target was Jasper Knight, a famous US chess master exposed as a Soviet spy. Soda's caught up with Knight at a military airfield in Cuba and eliminated him against all odds. This is your objective as well. Now listen carefully. ICA exams aren't normally this difficult. Not only was the airfield a virtual fortress, he even added additional guards. Soda's wants you to fail. He considers you a threat, and this way, your unfortunate exit from the program will not raise any eyebrows. He did not, however, factor me into the equation. If Sodas can bend the rules, then so can I. Good luck, Initiate. Nice. This fucking game's awesome. I missed Hint, man. I'm so glad it's back. Really, like, I'm, I'm just so excited. I'm so glad it's back. There's no subtitles during that segment. That's weird. All right, I'm just going to make sure that my settings did not change because I did have to... I restarted the beta because I went to go do some stuff. Yeah, so this isn't maximum settings, but the game, I mean, the game just, you know, it isn't correctly optimized. If I turn on right here, the, uh, I don't even know if that's going to turn on, but, oh, there it is. There it goes. Yeah, as you guys can see, my second card is not being used right now. It's only the first card at 99%, and, uh, we have four gigs of video RAM, so turn that off. All right, so eliminate Jasper Knights. Sweet. But even even with the graphical settings turned down, I mean, I have no ambient occlusion because ambient occlusion takes like 15 frames per second in this game. But even then, it still looks pretty good. Here we go. Dun, 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 dun. All right. Anything over here? Can we mess with this? No, we can't. Damn it. I have to figure out some way to uh, to get over there. I probably have to sneak over there. What's over there? Hold on for a sec. Can we scale this? There we go. What's in here? Oh, this is probably where where we came into the level. All right. It's the entrance. I don't want to disturb anybody. I want to do this like really quietly and stealthily, but I fear that is impossible since there's no opening with, with the gate whatsoever besides the front. Oh wait, hold on. What is this? It said pick up a crowbar. Here it is. Oh wait, can we jump over this right here? Yes. Look at this. Nice. Da 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 da. Stealth games always have the best level design. Always leave it to stealth games. I mean, they have to. It's required if you're going to do a stealth game. You need to have multiple paths. You need to basically have all your corners covered. And still retain some realism to how the scenes are designed. Lots of work goes into level design with stealth games. You cannot deny that. Oh, really? Shit. Oh, this isn't gonna work. This is definitely not gonna work. Oh, there's a place to vault over there. Look at this. Alright. Oh, 
shit. Did not mean to do that. I meant to take cover. Damn, look at this lighting. Damn it, I got spotted. No. Everyone's on the lookout for me. What the hell? What? Understood. Oh, they all just magically- Oh, they all magically know where I am, okay. Alright, let's try that again. The final test is based on an authentic 1979 mission. The high point of training Director Soda's career as an active... Gotcha. Alright, well now we actually know where to go and stuff, so... Where the hell do we go? I had to somehow sneak around. This wasn't here before, at least it didn't look like it. This guy's not gonna do anything, right? If I go up to him, just to make sure. Stop! You can't walk through here. Turn around and go back. Alright. Bitch. Yeah, I like Agent 47's outfit this time. Like like the dude looks pretty good, you gotta admit. Like he's wearing some some designer clothes here. Got that freaking whatchamacallit. Um I don't know. Got your Kenneth Cole shoes and your your turtleneck. Your turtleneck from freaking Neiman Marcus. <laughs> Designer clothes. The dude's the dude's like killing people and he has about six thousand dollars worth of clothes on. <laughs> Seriously. I think I believe they did um they did like a uh an interview. Or not really an interview, but they did some st uh, statistic of what it would cost to look like James Bond in the films, and it ended up being like around ten thousand dollars if you were to dress exactly like he does. It was like nuts, <laughs> ten thousand dollars, and you're out there killing people and get and getting it all dirty with all the explosions and stuff. Could you imagine? Oh, this could distract him. Let's try this again. Just sucks that he's right there. So night kills a guy. Poisons him. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm I'm just gonna instead of uh you know trying to do this like the, the perfect way. Because I'm still learning the level technically. Instead of trying to do this the perfect way. I'm just gonna, you know, just play the game. Hey, that's not gonna work. What is that outfit? Look, anyway, you're not passing through here. Move Talk on. about what is this outfit? You, um, this is about six thousand dollars worth of clothes, sir. What the hell is that outfit? They just printed those in China. They have three printed shirt. Dick. What the hell is that outfit? Yeah. It's more than you can afford, sir. Alright, so I'm gonna use the generator, distract the guy and get him over here. Oh, turn off the floodlights. There we go, hold on. Turn it back on, dude. Turn it back on. Oh, 
There we go. This guy's mine. I'm gonna disguise myself. It's crazy that you can still snap his neck, even though you, you know, rendered him unconscious. That, I just find that nuts. There we go, I'm just a normal guard with my gun. Here we go. <laughs> I love this game. I seriously do, look at this. I love this game. This game's awesome. Whoa, whoa. Uh, hope there's not gonna be any trouble. This could be useful. Oh, uh, what's this? Sure, I'll track this opportunity. Note from the for KGB High Command. A note of demands from Jasper Knight to KGB High Command. Apparently, Apparently Jasper oh. Knight is demanding that his girlfriend accompanies him to the Soviet Union, and he refuses to leave until he gets affirmation from his superiors in Moscow. The call will come through in the restricted, but otherwise unguarded, radio room. Hmm. Hit the KGB officer's disguise, which is that guy. He's talking about my gun. Look at this guy's trench coat. Missing vodka. Oh, there's. I can poison it if I want to. All right, let's take a look here, huh? Hey, is that loaded? Screw yourself, dude. What do you think of that? What do you think that officer thought when I went to the bathroom with this guy? The gun here. There's the poison. And now I'm supposed to. Okay, I have to go in there and make this call. Nine, follow me. The Bianca's on the line. My superior uh, wants to speak thanks. to you personally. Thanks. Get too close. Thank you, but I'm not interested. <laughs> Am I supposed to talk to Jasper Knight? I did, uh, right? Follow me. Bianca's on the line. My superior wants to speak to you personally. Is he going to follow me? Okay, he's following me. Okay, cool. It's for, look at the look at the uh, cloth physics. That's pretty Let's awesome. The ghost live. Good job, initiate. This should keep night occupied for a while. You'll take it from there, huh? This is Blind Taylor coming in second. Oh. Oh, we gotta do this. Okay. 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 The final test is based. Okay. I didn't realize that you know we we're gonna come around being watched and things like that. So we really we gotta time that. We gotta time that. Okay. I know that you guys may be watching this and um, you're thinking to yourself, oh, why does he keep restarting the level? I mean, I'm just one of those stealth players where if it's not perfect, then I just don't want to, you know, I'd rather restart it from scratch. A lot of people um, ask me how I spent 30 hours in Thief. They're like, how do you spend 30 hours in Thief? I beat that game in about, like, you know, less than 20, around 15, 20 hours. How are you spending, like, double the amount of time? 
And it's because I set my difficulty setting to custom, and every single time I failed a mission, it would restart um, it would restart me from a checkpoint. Or every single time I got seen by an enemy, excuse me, it would restart me from the checkpoint. So I had no choice but to do it perfectly. And, uh, I, and I did. And I loved, uh, I really liked that game. Thief was a good game to me. It really was. It was a great game. So I'm just one of those stealth players that likes perfection, you know? That's all. Let's try this again. So the Soviet ambassador, he was one of Janice's people. Uh, no, look this up. Man of peace. What's the reason? The quintessential good Russian. Makes it all the way to the inner circles of Washington. So we already know where this guy's gonna be. Apparently, Jasper Knight is demanding that his girlfriend accompanies him to the Soviet Union, and he refuses to leave until he gets affirmation from his superiors in Moscow. The call will come through in the restricted, but otherwise unguarded radio room. And I'll just hide in here until he comes. Perfect. Uh, nothing like a refreshing taste of water. Here we go. All right. I'm watching you. Oh, <laughs> it's such like a creeper. <laughs> Could you, <laughs> can you imagine you're going to the bathroom, you're about to you're go to the bathroom, and all of a sudden this guy comes out of a box and comes to get you. <laughs> oh, oh, that's great. <laughs> You know, all of a sudden, this guy comes out of nowhere, and he comes and grabs you. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Alright, let's talk to this guy. You. Nine, right. follow me. The Bianca's on the line. My superior wants to speak to you personally. Uh, about time. Lead the way. Dun 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 So you just gotta make sure that we're not seen. That's all. Where can we hide him after this? I'm just curious. Oh, we can only hide him over here. Good job, Initiate. This should keep me to occupy for a while. Thank you. I'll take it from here. This is Blind Taylor. Come in, Center. Hello, I repeat. This is Blind Taylor. Come in, Center. How? How am I exposed? Who saw me? I'm confused. Who saw me there? The final test is based I'm really confused about that. I don't know who saw me there. Oh well. The hell saw me there. Yeah. 
you guys know who's there must be some guy on top then but I just that's a, that's the only thing I can think of is that there's some guy on top try again. You know what I'm going to try and do? I'm going to try and um, take out some people on the top then. I'll see if I if there's anyone else on the top floor that I can just take out. So the Soviet ambassador, he was one of Janice's people. Uh, mm -hmm. This man who's fine. essential good rough. So who would have stopped? No, there's no one on the top. I mean... Apparently, Jasper Knight is demanding that his girlfriend accompanies him to the Soviet Union, and he refuses to leave until he gets affirmation from his superiors in Moscow. The call will come through in the restricted, but otherwise unguarded radio room. Oh, what the hell? Who are you again? Okay, we gotta really think about this. I gotta think about the this. The final test is been Excuse me, sir, but you're not on my list, so I will have to ask you to kindly leave. Please comply and leave the premises. What is that flying? What, what is this? Is this supposed to be rain? I guess it's supposed to be like rain. No, it's just, I mean, what, what, what is that? Huh. I don't know. I think it's just particle effects. It's random particle effects. Well, since I have a general understanding right now of the level, let me see if I can, uh... Depicting Knight's escape route from Cuba to his new home in the Soviet Union are ready for pickup at the reception. Desk security expect a soldier to fetch the slides, whereupon the KGB officer and Knight will likely retreat to the upstairs office. Pick up slides at reception. Slides. Command's order. Ah, I was wondering when you'd be stopping by. Ah. Right there on the counter. Here we go. 
place the slides on the overhead projector up there. Okay. Jeez, we're finding out new stuff. Seriously. So many opportunities. Whoa, hey. So, are we going to see some action with that gun? Should we get out of here? So the Soviet ambassador, he was one of Janice's people. Mm-hmm. Good thinking, Man, this is. This should keep Knight's attention for a while. Essential good Russian. Makes it all the way to the inner circles of Washington. Then, for some reason, he flips. Plans to defect. Apparently, Jasper Knight is demanding that his girlfriend accompanies him to the Soviet Union, and he refuses to leave until he gets affirmation from his superiors in Moscow. The call will come through in the restricted, but otherwise unguarded, radio room. Doesn't strike me as Oh, jeez. I don't know what this does. Wow, KGB. Really? Just gonna look at the chest. Yes. Just the move I was contemplating. I appreciate the gesture, friend, but one genius is more than enough. And I think of that. Knight, follow me. But Yanka's on the line. My superior wants to speak to you personally. Uh, about time. Lead the way. So this is really... Can we even get up there, this third floor? I don't think so. All power to the Soviets. Rastrovity going. Oh, he's coming. Job initiate. This should keep me to occupy for a while. Thank you. I'll take it from here. This is Blind Taylor. Come in center. Hello. I repeat. This is Blind Taylor. Come in center. Just interference. Hello. Blind Taylor calling for center. Are you there? Center over. And. Crash, come on. Center, do you read me, center? <sighs> Useless. Getting nothing but static. See that thunderstorm approaching. Come get me when the signal is back. Hmm. Maybe I can lure him? The only thing I can think of is like lure him and use coins and like, you know, the bust and things like that. Night. The radio's working again. So soon? Are you quite sure? I'm not going back there in vain. No one's even in here. No one's even in oh, he's in here. It's beautiful. Yet provocative.
pick up this. I need to get some vodka. No, he, the radio's working again. Right. Radio's working again. I should damn well hope so. Oh, power, uh, whatever. Talk about him, your commander. Don't talk to me that way. This is Blind Taylor, come in center. There we go. Go, check it out. Huh? Oh, come on, show some respect. You go to the prankster. Damn it, it's not gonna work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not gonna work at all. Come get <sighs> useless. Get not not even stabbed. Really working this piece of so soon. Are you quite sure? I'm not going back there in vain. Night. The radio is working again. I'm not going back there in vain. This guy's frustrating because he like. I mean, it's easier to kill him in that office than it is the radio room. So, I think we should kill the guard in here. Take him out. The guard? Or is it the guard that's following him? I think it's the guard that's following him. Lock the door. Yeah, there's an art guard that comes in here. I wonder if I can jump out here. It just says climb through, but I, I was going to say, I wonder if I could jump out there and like, you know. I'll get this guy now. Here. He fits, and then we'll get his disguise. We've got our coins. We got him. Can we dump him out the window? That'd be great. Oh, we can. Oh, that's great. Hey, it's me. I think I got a serious situation with a possible dead body. Private?
And we'll just uh, take the exit, walk out calmly. Congratulations, Agent. You are cleared for field duty. Nice. <laughs> that's cool. That's a, that's a cool thing. Nice. So I can actually put my yeah submit count linked. Nice. All right. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go back to uh, that main mission here, the final test, and uh, do the objectives. So stay tuned for that. <laughs> 